Hey everybody, this is Eric Clark's Travel Videos. I'm going to Castle San Angelo. It's a free day and so I'm going to take you inside and I'll show you around. You can see it behind me and the Bridge of Statues and uh, I'll share it all with you and we'll see how long it takes. It's now exactly 8.01 so I'm an hour early. So we'll see how long the line is and then we'll see how long it takes to get inside. Thanks everybody. All right everybody, I'm still here at uh, St. Angelo waiting to get in line. It's that free day and it is 8.37. And I just wanted to show you the line is not that big. So if you're coming here on a free day, if you get here at like 8.30, which is a half an hour early, it's not bad. So, and there's the door. So you can see that it's really, maybe, it's really not a long line. So, and again, it's 8.37. So if you just come, uh, you know, maybe 20 minutes early, 30 minutes early, you should be absolutely fine. Okay, bye bye. All right, everybody, here we are again, and you can see now the line is wrapping around the building, and it is now, what time does that say? 8.47, so about 10 minutes before they open. And it's not terrible, but it's it's getting a little longer. But I, I bet that even if you got here at like 5 tell or 10 tell, you'd be fine. So just words of advice. Thanks, everybody. Hey, bye everybody, bye. I just wanted to grab a picture of this sign for you so that you can read it and know exactly what it says. It opens at 9, closes at uh, 7.30, and then there's the price. So the ticket for is $15 for full price. But uh, here's all the information you need. And the secret castle guided tours. So you 10 a.m. they have the guided tour. So for the secret castle, and that shows the secret bathroom and all that stuff too. Of the Pope. Okay. Okay, everybody. One last video before we go in. It is now 8:58. Uh, so in two minutes they're going to open, and the line goes around the corner. So it's getting kind of close. But something to tell you is that they, if you buy a ticket ahead of time, or if you have one of those coupon cards, they let you in ahead of the line. So if you have one of those, skip the line. Make sure you do that. Um, that's it, everybody. We're heading in. Baba. All right, the doors are open and it's right on time. Nine o'clock, doors are open, they're getting ready to go. And again, these are the people that get to skip the line. They have the tickets and bought their stuff ahead of time. And uh, this is the line because they've been here since early. All these people. Okay, free day. You still have to go in line and get a ticket and then you can go in from there. So uh, just, just be aware that you have to go through the, the place to get a ticket. Okay. There's a map of the place, and that little guy's kind of sick. But anyway, here's the legend of what you see. Um, and you kind of, you get a ticket and you go around to the left, and you can get into the castle. And it's a double-walled castle, so there's this outside wall, and there's the inside wall, and the castle you see from the street. So, it's pretty amazing, and it's pretty self-explanatory. You get up here and you have to take a left. And then they get in there, and there's the prisons. And I'll videotape this, but it's pretty amazing. And eventually you come out and you get to go through there. So, welcome to Castle St. Angelo. Pause if you need to. Alrighty. Let me get to something inside now. Start the video back. Alright, everybody. So you walk up a bunch of stairs, and you get to here. And I guess this is how they defended it. Look at the walls and the cannons and such. Pause if you need to. All right. Very neat. And then you keep going this way. So this is the outside wall, you know? So this is, you know, the inside is the castle. But we're on this outside wall right now, so we're just going this way. All right, what's in here? No. Can I go the first? Yeah, go ahead. You're fine. So that's the inside castle. And that's where the Pope would live. So they could defend this wall. And then when this one got overrun, they'd ride back to this wall. You can see that it's... I mean, imagine that... <laughs> They say that like 20 guys or whatever it was, I, I remember seeing a story about this, that you know, like 20 guys could defend this castle um, and you could see why. I mean, you ain't climbing that. There's not a lot of entrances up there, but it's interesting. You can see the mosaics and the ceiling, but we get over there. So eventually we'll go up and around and it, and it connects and you join up. She's kind of excited about seeing her place. So. <laughs> and then you can see the walls on the outside. Yeah, 
amazing, huh? Yeah, it's funny, from the street, from outside, you don't even realize that Castle St. Angelo was a double-walled castle, that there's an inside and an outside area. But uh, once you're inside, you recognize it. So, cool. All right, look at all the defensive fortifications, too. You could stand up there and shoot arrows or whatever. And then you just keep going this way. It's amazing. Imagine once you got past this, how do you get up there? Huh. Very neat. Also, this castle was built by Hadrian. So look here, you could shoot arrows down through these little holes all over the place. They go each direction. Yeah, that's amazing too. And there's another wall outside of that, so they gotta get past that even still. And this is how we get over to the main building. So, these are the local pigeons. <laughs> He's funny. And a watchtower. What does this one say? Read it as you need to. Pause as you need to. 1389. Oh, they have cannons in these corners. And there's the Vatican. And this is the, they have that walkway that goes from the Vatican that's in a, like a tunnel all the way from there, all the way to here, so that if they have to get the Pope here, they can do it and he's covered and then keep him safe, which in and of itself is amazing. So um, that's in the, that book by uh, Dan Brown. Pretty amazing. All right, bye everybody, I'm gonna take some regular pictures. Bye -bye. All right, back to the stairs. So pause if you need to. Sorry about that. And now we're going to the inside castle. Oh, I bet that was a wooden moat thing. I bet they could close this off for defense. And here's a gate I bet they could put down too. Let's see what this says. And this was all built by Hadrian. And you can see his name right there. Yeah, those are some big doors. Huh, like a cistern or something. Certainly lots of climbing. Let's go this way. So we'll go this way. <laughs> That's right, and the angel Michael there. Oh, here's something else to read. So the statue of St. Michael, the archangel, sculptured by Raffaello. So this sculpture, this is done by Raphael. And I think this is what used to be on top of the building. Amazing, huh? This is the family crest too. It has the bees 
What family was that? There's a family thing for that. And there is a bar up here. So if you want to come up here and have a soda or a coffee or a beer or something, you can. That's what the sculpture up on top up there is the one that's up there now, but the one that I just showed you by Raphael was the original. And there's the Vatican. You see, you see that walkway right there? That's what they usher the Pope in. That goes from here all the way to the Vatican. And that's how they get the Pope here safe and sound. Wow. Amazing. All right, I'm gonna take some pictures, everybody. Bye -bye. All right, everybody, I'm up a little higher now, a little bit uh, closer, and you can see the walkway better. It goes from here all the way down, all the way around, and that's a tour. You can buy that tour package and you can go all the way to the Vatican City in the same chamber that the, the Pope would have to run along to be safe. Certainly amazing. There is more literature back here. Let me get this for you. as you need to. What does that say? And behind it, the Janaman Hill is the middle of St. Peter's Basilica, dominated by Michelangelo's dome, Giulio Bernini's colonnade, and all right, outstanding. Okay, all right, I'm gonna move on. All right, everybody, I just wanted to show you that when you get here, the views out the windows and the Vatican behind it, there's tons of these little windows and they're all just outstanding. And you can really see great stuff. That one you can't, it's too bright. But there's lots of little windows, so take your pick. Very cool. Okay, everybody, I'm moving on. And this is the restaurant. So Bye. back there is the restaurant and the bar, and it's, uh, what time is it now? It's 9.23, and the restaurant's open, and there's beer and sodas and all those kind of things. But this starts the ornate section, I guess. And it's pretty gorgeous. Oh, more stuff to read. Here we go. Pause as you need to. Um, with episodes Hadrian's life and images and the monuments and all that. And I think Hadrian is actually buried here somewhere, I think. I guess I should find that out, huh? Uh, okay, here we go. Oh, big steps. Old mosaics. Or fresco, sorry. And I think that's Hadrian right there. Wow. Here's some literature. Let's read this. So this is the library. Is he? Is Hadrian buried here? Sorry? Hadrian? Is he buried here? Uh, yeah. His tomb? Yeah, where, no, where is uh, it? It was uh, on, the, on the first floor. On the first floor. Yeah. When you did the, the, the big uh, ramp, El uh, Ram, uh -huh. uh, Ligo Edale. He's in there. Okay. Okay. There is a room for the infrastructure. Okay. I can go back and see it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Grazie. Grazie.
Los venimos. Vamos a la derecha de afuera. No se marcha, no se marcha. Paul Farnese, ahí está el nombre de nuevo. Outstanding. Es un hecho de vida. It's got frescoes all the way around the ceiling. Excuse me, who did these two paintings in here? This one over here, the, this one, Raphael did this one? This one's done by Raphael? Oh. And what about this one? Don't know about either one of us. Raphael's student. Raphael's student, okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, we're gonna move it on. The lions, and I think Hadrian was represented as a lion or something. I don't know for sure. All right, all right, you come up the stairs, and this gets you to the to the roof. See the cake from here, and the Colosseum's over there, the Roman Forum. Amazing. This is the terrace. And then, that's what you get. And that's where you come out at, right there, that little entrance. So that's the statue of Michael that replaced the one done by Raphael. Amazing. Wow, you really don't get a view like this from anywhere else of the Vatican. Wow, wow. Let's go over here to this side. Lining 
Pope are sitting in their chairs getting ready for the Pope. Amazing. And you can see that walkway better. So this is where you come up at, right below St. Michael's, the new one. And this is where you go down at. And it's pretty steep and you can hear the bells going. And that's the section where the restaurant is. And you can see how crowded it is now. Jesus. And you can see the other statue by Raphael down there. And you can see the line. So that's how far the line's gotten. So it's pretty still hairy. Uh, here we go. And it is low. My head is like uh, skimming. Watch your head here. So I guess you don't get to go see the Pope's bathroom on this trip. I guess they close that on the free day. Wow, oh my gosh. Can I ask what that is? Is that the Pope's bathroom? Uh, no, the Pope's bathroom is a small, small room. It's usually close to tourists. But this is what the room. Oh, sorry. This is my colleague. This is what the room where the Pope received the ambassador and secretary. Oh, in here? Here there was a corridor, now it's closed. And did you see the library, the first room? Yeah. was connected to the library. Oh, okay. It's called a Pompeian Corridor because. The decoration is inspired by the... Ah. Oh, it's all Pompeii yeah. stuff. Gotcha. Can I go in? I'm sorry? Can I go in? I'm sorry. No, it's not possible. I'm really sorry. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thanks everybody, I'm gonna take some pictures. Okay, and this is a side door off this room. You can't go that way, that's the Pompeii room, but you can go out this way, and I think this has the, the frescoes on the ceiling and such, and you can go all the way around up here. to the X. 
exit, but I don't think I want to go to the exit yet. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so this is the room I didn't go into. That other way is the exit. This way is his bedroom, I think. That room, okay. Cool. All right, I guess I'm gonna head out again. Okay, bye everybody. Uh, reading for you, I figure I'll stop here. And I think I got all the signs inside of here. I even zoomed in on that uh, one in the Pope's room so you can get that too. So anyway, this is the last courtyard. You can see where the wells are so they can keep the Pope hydrated. <laughs> And this is just a little courtyard. Little frescoes inside, kind of cute. Hmm. All right. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna go down and, and I missed Hadrian's tomb up here, but I'll see it on the way down. The lady told me where it was at. Bye -bye. You come from there and you go in here and I just wanted to show you this because it's really crazy. So the little courtyard is wonderful and then I was going to skip all this, but uh, I realized you can't. And it's, so it's this like uh, modern display of art from this guy, Bulgaria or Bulgara or whatever it is, but it's this really kind of weird Bulgaria or whatever it's called. Um, there's this story, but what's amazing is, I mean, it's inside this room that has, if you look past, or if you can get around these things, everything's covered by this uh, god ugly jewelry and clothing. Uh, I mean, even here, look at the room. I mean, it's got uh, frescoes and amazing stuff, and then here it even tells you about the room. Got this funky music and these funky outfits. It's like a black taco and jewelry. But again, what's amazing about this is that it is this incredible room. I mean, the rooms are amazing. But it's dark and all covered. This is supposed to be one of the best rooms in the whole museum because it has all the original frescoes. <laughs> this is not the original fresco. Um, it has the original frescoes on all the walls. So this was done back in the 1500s by the Pope and the Pope oversaw it. And they're all still intact. Really? <laughs> this is just silly. I mean, I, it just kind of hurts my heart that they would put that stuff in here. And they even cover the informational sign. Wow. Interesting. So let me get to this informational sign. Oh, I gotta squeak through here. This room was built in the mid 15th century by Nicholas V. This was the beginning of this little process transforming Castle St. Angelo Fortress into a papal residence. So the Pope used to live here. Anyway, the marble fireplace was built by Raffaello in 1540. Where is the fireplace? 
There's a fireplace in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. So this was built by Raphael. This was built by Raphael? Wow. Amazing. And it's got this art. <laughs> Crazy. I know. dark in here because of the funky costumes and light. All the windows are blocked out. The windows are covered. Aye, aye. Terrible. Well, Raphael did the fireplace. How amazing, huh? The ceiling's all covered too with those nets. You see those nets? and it's covered up. <laughs> Life in the big city. Okay, everybody. I think that's all there is to it until I get to the tomb. I guess there's a little bit more. Let me go through this doorway here. Hello. Hello again. It's all terrible. It's all covered. You can't see it. Terrible. Yeah. It was covered in just in the room because some believe that this is what happened. I mean, uh, of who? It seems like an animal, honestly, it has a justice. But it's believed that here there was the trial during the books. The trial? Yes. The Which trial? trial? Uh, for politics, the uh, enemies. Oh, okay. Oh, she's justice. Yeah. All right. Wow, it's pretty. Wow. Thank you for the information. This is as funny, actually. And all the art behind the wall is all covered, so you can't really. Uh. Nice. You get jewelry, though. Huh. Terrible. Oh. And I'm outside. All right, everybody. I guess that's it. Let's go see Raphael's tomb. Okay, everybody. So Raphael's tomb is right in here. It's this uh, area, I guess. Here's the bridge. This is the little bridge. And 
I think that's what that is right there. Hadrian, sorry. Hadrian's tomb. Pretty crazy crowd, isn't it? Wait, look at this sign here one more time. Hadrian's mausoleum. Yeah, there it is. That's it in there. Hadrian's mausoleum. Okay, everybody. That's the end of the tour. Thanks for coming along. Okay, I found another sign, so I thought I'd videotape that. So it's the spiral staircase. And this is Emperor Hadrian's remains. Pause if you need to. And that's this spiral staircase right here. So this comes, or goes down, what, 12, 12 meters? So quite a ways, actually. Wow, it's a big spiral. <coughs> Pardon me. Wow, it really is a big spiral and it really does go down a long way, doesn't it? Interesting. horses up here or something or I don't know that's interesting oh maybe to lug up heavy things like cannons or such one more sign to get all right and there's the line of people waiting to get in we were in the atrium and the entrance to hadrian's mausoleum your visit of castle san angelo is over <laughs> thanks for coming goodbye everybody wonderful Bye -bye. So the exit isn't where you entered, so this is the exit, and so this is the ground between the floors. So that's the outer wall, and this is the inner castle, which is pretty amazing. <laughs> All right, there's the doors, and here's the exit. All right. Cool. I'm going to go around and show you the line now, just so you can have a reference point. Bye, everybody. Sign on. The outside of San Angelo. Pause as you need to. Huh. There's not a lot in English, is there? But at least you can see it. So here's the castle. There's the outer walls, the inner size. Those are that Michelangelo and Michael, St. Michael is the statue. Cool. Okay. Uh, bye -bye. Sneak around and let's see how long this line is. So that you know if you miss the nine in the morning time frame, if there is even a line. Oh, well, there is a line. 
So what time is it now? Now it is 10.15. So it took me an hour and 15 minutes to go through that thing. And here's the line. And there's a puppy. Wow, okay. So I think if you aren't here in the mornings, because they're not letting people in. I guess two people out, two people in. Um, here's the line. Wow, it's gonna wrap all the way around this corner, isn't it? We're gonna go see. My guy's out here playing his uh, violin with his shoes. Hey, look how long this line is. Game of Thrones. Look at his shoes. See his shoes? <laughs> anyway, this is the line. It is... my gosh yeah okay so I think if you're not here at like 8 50 in the morning on a free day you'll be standing in this line for hours hours and hours look at how long this line goes it goes all the way around the Wow Wow. I'm gonna get to the Vatican before the line stops. <laughs> wow, this is all line to get into the free day at Castle St. Angelo. Amazing. Okay, everybody, rule of thumb, get here early. <laughs> <laughs>